Hello guys, this is Wad, and today I'm bringing you another tech tutorial. This time it's going to be on windmills. Now, all my information comes from the Ticket Wiki, and you should really check that out as it probably explains it a bit better than me, but I'll try to do this in a visual way. So, this is the area which a windmill takes in to figure out how much it's going to power. A windmill generates power depending on how high up it is, and um, it every block which is in this range will. Um, effectively lower its height by one. So if it's up 256 and there's six blocks around it, it'll be down 250 even though it's at 256. So um, you don't want any blocks obstructing it around this area except for the cable which is, that's the best spot to put it underneath there. And um, this is around its lowest height. It's around 80 so it won't blow up but it produces very little power. Um, so the wiki says if a windmill is above 80 it will it has a chance of sort of blowing up this is one without um, any box around it so it's the same as that except that's just got the case around it um, this has a box around it and it's not producing any power because my theory is that um, once it gets like blow 80 or something it doesn't produce power because I have this one which is the same, it doesn't produce power, but this one, it's like visual, you can see it's all, it's on all sides, but there's just blocks in the way and it can't produce power. So, somewhere like above here or something, you can't place, wind below, you can't place windmills because they won't generate power. Um, this one's higher up, but because of the blocks around it, it's generating at a slower rate, so it's around about there. This one's that's it the same except with no box around it and it's generating much faster power. Whoop. As you can see. Just look, look at that compared to that. It's much faster. This one is higher still, it's about 126 I think. And you can see it's got a little um thing there. So that's how high it is, I think depending and this produces much faster power but it has a chance of blowing up I think this one is even higher and it is producing a, a, a lot of power that's how much it's at and then this one is really high and it's got almost full and it's filling up really fast so the higher you went the more chance you would have of it blowing up but the more power you produce now if I turn rain on the wiki says that this improves how much electricity it produces by 20%. Now look how fast that's going now. Or it might be a storm. A st there's, it says rain and a storm are different, so this isn't a storm I don't think, but it's still going pretty fast. But um, a storm has will make it blow up faster or increase the chances of it blowing up. So that's why 80, at 80 you w won't be able to blow up even in a storm. So this one's producing power. They're all they're all increasing their power rate. In a storm, it's up to 50%, and when it's rainy, it's up to 20%. But um, yeah. So if you put one down here, for example, if I put a windmill here, it's not going to produce any power because it's so low down. That's like five. So it's n it, it won't produce power unless it's up high. So that's basically the level you want it at. But um, the wiki says that the best place to put it is between 90 and 100. So that it has a really low chance of breaking. But it produces the, basically a lot of power for that height. So that's what you've got to keep in mind. Where to place it, how to place it, um, how high you want to place it. And just keep your windmills free of blocks around it. Because if you have like windmills set up close to each other, they will take themselves as a block. And keep note that they also count like torches and other things as blocks as well. So thank you for watching guys. Um, like and comment and give me feedback on what you want me to do next and if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, thank you guys and see you next time.